Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to another episode of MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark and Steve. We're here in the studio today talking about Final Cut Pro, of all things. And uh, we've been reviewing some of the nice new enhancements in the 10.1.2 update. And today we're going to talk about audio, is that what I understand? Right. Um, every application, including Final Cut Pro, could use some audio sweetness, can need some love. And this one, they've added more love to Final Cut with regard to audio levels. Okay, manipulating audio levels. Right. Um, if you set keyframes, you want to be able to adjust the entire clip volume while keeping the changes you've made to the volume intact. In other words, you want to keep everything. You don't want to ruin your keyframes. You don't want to ruin yeah. your keyframes. Okay. So, so how would let's that work? look. Let's look at how that works. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to press R to bring up the range selection tool, and I'm going to just drag out a range under this guy talking. So you just held down the R key to temporarily use the range tool, right? So without yeah. switching to it. In fact, it. let me do nice. that again because it's a really great keyboard shortcut. If I uh, if I have the selection tool selected mm -hmm. right here, and I hold down R, it temporarily turns the selection great. arrow into a range tool. I drag across to create a range, release my mouse, release the key, and still, still, selection, still tool. selection tool. Nice. So what I'm going to do is put my mouse pointer right in the middle of those, uh, right in the middle of the range and drag downward. And I'm going to duck the audio. So when he's talking, the, the music will not conflict with his voice. I'm going to bring this down to about minus 6 dB, right about there. Right? Okay, it's minus 6. One way we know this is if you put your pointer over that keyframe, it's minus 6 of the volume. The first keyframe, it's 0, zero dB. Eight. So it goes from 0 to minus 6, holds, uh, stays at minus 6, and then comes back up to 0 dB. Got it. Now, at the end of the process, I want to bring the audio volume up because as I'm playing it back, maybe the volume needs to be brought up overall. The overall volume of that particular clip is too low. It's too low. Mm -hmm. And I want to bring the entire volume up. And there was no way to do this in previous versions of Final Cut. Now you can using a relative volume adjustment. And by the way, this feature was in Legacy Final Cut Pro. So Apple is slowly migrating features that were in previous versions of Final Cut and putting them in 10. Fabulous. Let's so see how this works. needs to be there. So we're going to go up to the Modify menu. And we're going to go to Adjust Volume. And uh, notice here, under Adjust Volume, there's Absolute and Relative. We'll talk uh -huh. about Absolute in a moment. We're going to choose Relative right now. Okay. And choose Relative. And notice the, the dashboard changes. Uh -huh. So you get a plus sign. It's green. It's green. And like it, audio. Like audio. So I don't want to increase the volume. I want to decrease it, although uh -huh. it's a positive number. Indicate, if I put in like 3 and it return, it would bring okay. up, up, three over, up 3D. I want to bring it down 3D. Okay. DB, so minus... Three, and I don't have to type in DB or anything. Yes. So when I hit return, the entire volume from the entire uh, music clip gets reduced. Okay. And you can see what happened is if I put my mouse pointer over each one. Notice minus the one three. that was at zero is now yeah. minus three. The one that was at minus three is now minus, at minus nine. Uh, the one that was at minus six is now at minus nine. Yeah, sorry. Yes. The one that was at minus six is now at minus nine. Yes. Thank you. So you can see it's a relative change. Yep. And it's fantastic because if you have a lot of different keyframes over the course of your audio clip, your sound effect, your music, you can raise or lower the entire volume. All up or down. Yeah. It's a relative change. Yep. The other thing that you might want to do is an absolute change. And I wanted to cover that second because, okay. you know, this one takes a little bit more explanation. With the audio selected, you can go into the view menu, excuse me, modify menu, and go down to adjust volume. And this time we're going to choose absolute. Now, absolute does what it sounds like. It's going to take that clip and make an absolute change to the volume for the entire clip. In other words, you're going to blow away. You're going to kill all your keyframes. Your keyframes. Yep. Okay. So you might be thinking, well, why would I want to do this? For me, it's very simple. I don't want to have to go to the inspector every time to reset back to zero dB. Uh, now okay. that I've done this, I just yeah. go zero, zero, return. And all those keyframes are gone. They're and gone and back to zero. Okay. I think that's what I'd probably use that feature more than any other for that reason, to bring that clip back to zero dB. Okay. Because you didn't like the job you had done with the keyframes or you needed to start over or something. If I'm going to hand this off to an audio, let's uh, say a Pro Tools editor, it's yeah. going to do some stuff. He doesn't want all those keyframes yeah. on there, he or she. So it's like, this is a way to bring yeah, everything back to the default. Perfect. Okay. That's a good reason. So yeah. um, I like it. I don't want to go into the inspector to reset yes. and you can do that but here's a quick way and by the way you'll notice that there is no um keyboard shortcuts and i would use yeah, this all was, the time yeah, so i would great. the first thing i would do is go in here and customize 
I'd bring up the uh, commands, customize, commands, customize. And if you search in here for a relative, you'll notice you have adjust relative volume. Yeah. And if you uh, if you clear this out, and if I type in absolute, absolute, there it is. It's already there it is. shown up. And what I would do because I would use that command a lot, I would create a hot key for that. So yes. And they want it, anytime I wanted to blow away all my keyframes and start from zero, I would just tap that key and it'll bring everything to zero. Yes, that's a great idea. So I think that's something I would add uh, okay. to my keyboard set, which I'm not going to do. You've, you know, all, all you've the covered that. You've covered that yeah. in other, other sessions. So. so those are the new audio sweetening enhancements relative to keyframes in Final Cut Pro 10. Great. And that's it. Short and sweet. A great new feature. Much needed. Yep. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, cool. we're uh, coming yeah. out with a full audio sound design tutorial. If it's not out already, it should be out very shortly. Excellent. So check that out. Check mm -hmm. out our whole um, meeting management tutorial on Final Cut Pro 10 and all our other tutorials, actually, and plugins on RopeTraining.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on MacBrick Studio.